fingerprint, dude? Asshole! But seriously, I think we'd make awesome ghost hunters. I'd freak out at any actual paranormal stuff that went down, and you'd have to be the one that makes sure we didn't get attacked or possessed or something. I'm saving us? I can't even handle a spider in the shower. Oh, what about last Halloween when you sucker punched that clown that jumped out at me? Ghosts are different. That was just a dude in a costume. So why'd you punch him? Shut up. I'm <laughs> gonna make such a good lawyer. Sarah's text was just a suggestion, right? We shouldn't be worried. <laughs> On the one hand, they did ask for volunteers, and on the other hand, those emojis were pretty in the system. We should probably be as quiet as possible, just to be safe. After you. supposed to believe that you both somehow missed my text in regards to tall people, Judy? I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to not enter. And what are you going to do after law school when the ACLU asks you to use your powers for good? I'll invoke my Fifth Amendment right to not enter. Nailed it. Whatever. You are both taking over while Ollie and Matt and I are going to Zumba. Again? Take a night off. Join the dark side. We have calories. And ghost adventures. And I already have nightmares about ex who must not be named. Jill Voldemorting her, huh? Pure evil. Awkward hugger obsessed by matching tattoos. I gotta get down, bitch. Uh. I'll Avada Kedavra both your asses unless I come back to the cleanest house in the neighborhood. Are we gonna let them threaten us like that? Yeah, probably. Taylor is moving in tomorrow and I am working all morning, which means no using her floor as a dinner table and do not leave your shit in there overnight. Of Got course. It. Seriously, don't you dare go in there unless you are bringing something out. Totally. Promise. I mean it. Are we allowed to be tomorrow? Uh, objection. Irrelevant. I'm gonna pass you. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> yes. I am up. I'm awake. Okay. You wanna start the game? We used uh, out a 45 minute cigar. Okay. Do you have any Red Bull? Um, fresh shot, I'm afraid. That's fine. I'm gonna get some. Didn't he do track in college? I thought that he'd have the stamina for Carly Rae Jepsen nights. I don't know. He did go pretty hard on I Really Like You. <laughs> I know you do, man. You just gotta kiss her already. Matthew. Get her room. And some Red Bull. Sarah, he was just kidding. I know. He... It's okay. I gotta go in. Are, are you sure? Yeah. You... I was just thinking, Jess has had a really shitty day and wanted to talk and, ugh, Taylor's coming tomorrow and, yeah, I, I, oh. should, I should go. Okay. I love you. I love you too. torn between you deliberately disobeyed me and I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. I got this. Here, <laughs> upset. And 
I understand that. And whatever you're about to say better be real good. So last night was just the three of us. Live a little. and shit. You're the love of my life. <laughs> You're still my baby. I heard that. But did you hear that? Hear what? Did you hear it? Hear that. No. Nope. I'm out. Good night. Do you want me to turn it up? Your shit needs to be out of here by noon. Huh? Nailed, Nailed it. it. <laughs> One more episode? At least. Yeah. You're the love of my life. Is there not a note on the fridge in my handwriting with a full checklist for Taylor's room? Sarah, focus. I am not imagining all of this, right? I mean, generally, women are the worst. But seeing as I always forget you and Chloe aren't actually dating, I'm inclined to agree something is up. Ah. And you know how you can know for sure? Have a fucking conversation about it, huh? Technically, I am having a... <laughs> No, ma'am. I am not cussing on the sales floor. Talk to her. Do I have to? Of course not. Take it to your grave. For the longer you wait, the more makeouts you're denying yourself and her. You really think she wants to make out with me? Oh, I think you, a direct participant in the situation, should have a better answer to that than me a third-party observer with a full-time job and an internship application that is due a lot sooner than they'd like it to be. Okay, but if you had to guess... Then I would say it is baffling you two aren't canon, almost as baffling as this being labelled as menswear. <laughs> they are always making an effing mess. No, ma'am, I am not making obscene hand gestures on the floor. I need to get back to work. Okay, and you need to go home and prepare your grandiose English major speech to Chloe on why you two should be banging. Saying bang is allowed? I don't make up the rules. See you at home? Yeah, probably. Unless I murder those assholes and end up in Litchfield Penitentiary, which would that really be so bad? Yes, go home. I'll see you at home. Can you please talk to her? Ugh. this being our room. Feels like Steph's been gone way longer than a month. Hope you're enjoying Chicago, even though we were supposed to grow old together, asshole. We're gonna grow old together, right? Obviously. Promise? What are you so worried about? Everything changing. I just... Don't want this random person turning our lives upside down. Excuse me, did I not turn your life upside down? Well, that's different. What if she's awful and we both hate her? Or what if she's great and you like her more than me? What if I'm not your favorite anymore? Jillian, I will never, ever, ever give Jill a I'm never gonna let Jill down. <laughs> I'm never gonna move to Chicago like Steph did. I'm never gonna not <laughs> love you. I'm never gonna say it. I don't love you. I'm never gonna change the past. Is there anything breakable in this box? No. Throw <gasps> you up.
be sure to follow us on all social media, Facebook. Check us out on Twitter at Biffle Series. You should probably be following us on Instagram, Biffle the Series. Follow us and check us out at BiffleTheSeries.com. Bye.